guys, welcome to Blogger News United, welcome to another video, and today it's time to talk about Anton Griezmann, and it's been confirmed by the CEO of Atletico Madrid, Miguel Angel Gil Marin, that Anton Griezmann has signed a deal with Barcelona back in March, and the exact words uh, when asked to the Frenchman, to the French superstar, was that he was asked after the game that they had that France had against Andorra, and he was asked that uh, where his future lies in La Liga or somewhere else, and he said, "I don't know if I'll remain in Spain. Maybe in two weeks we'll know something. I just want to play football and have fun." And after that, basically, Hilmarin, what he did was to say that uh, that they basically had contacted Barcelona. That Barcelona had received contact from them and saying that they will be paying the release clause and basically the deal was agreed back in March and there was a lot of reports saying that that's when the Anton Griezmann report started to show up so everything seems to line up very nicely. Uh, Hill Marin said in his official statement that I know exactly where he's going to play. I've known since March in Barcelona. There are players who feel they are greater than the squad. We have to form a group of men. So there we have it. That's basically the Anton Griezmann saga all over and done with. Um, yes, and like I said, this was rumored. Uh, I said it. I said that. I mean, I wasn't expecting to hear this from the from Gil Marin. I honestly wasn't expecting to hear anything from Atletico Madrid. But it's basically been confirmed. Barcelona are not gonna make this official because they can still get uh you, like you know they, bad things could still happen without without the july 1st uh date coming up so until july the 1st it is not going to be an official statement from the club but i think it's you know 99.99999 percent uh, certain that anton griezmann will be joining barcelona coming next summer and it's gonna be a decent signing, like I did in my previous video, where I show you that team with Belotti, Sane, Dembele. I think that Griezmann would be a good player in that team. And you know, like he didn't properly betray Barcelona, but he still insults at Barcelona in my opinion. Uh, I, if, if it was up to me, he wouldn't come to Barcelona, but you know, much better him than Neymar. So uh, I think that he suits what we need much more right now. Uh, he can play in the wing and at the number 9 and we really need a backup to Luis Suarez so I need to transition Luis Suarez out of the team so more than a backup is like someone that can transition Luis Suarez out of the role. I think that Griezmann could be really good in this team with them. He could help them belly, uh, you know, adapt to the team, adapt to the to playing with Barthon. He would have another player to link up in Usman then belly. I think that Griezmann in between the lines, like if we just don't count anything else but the sporting sense of the player. I think Anton Griezmann is a really top class player and he would be really good at Barcelona. My only like you know concern is that why are we signing Anton Griezmann for 120 million uh, euros? That's my only like like you know I don't feel really confident with the signing it because we're paying 120 million euros for a player that is what 28? Well, we could be signing for about the same price, I'm guessing, Paulo Dybala from uh, Juventus. And Paulo Dybala, in my opinion, is basically the same player, but younger and better. My opinion, Dybala, I mean, it's been proven that, oh, not proven, boy. Like, used as a number 10, he, he gets in the way of Lionel Messi. But plays a number 9, and I think that he could do that Aguero role-ish with a lot of creation involved, so... I think Paulo Dybala could play at the could play at the right or in the mid or in the middle, and would be really good for for, uh, for Barcelona if he was to join. I don't know what we didn't approach uh, Paulo Dybala. He's Argentinian. He is a really good player, and I think that with Ronaldo Juventus, uh, Juventus wouldn't put that much of an upset 
if we paid the money that they want and I'm guessing that's about 100 to 150 million euros that they want for Paulo Dybala so in my opinion for a lot of years younger and a player that hasn't done anything to Barcelona and, a, and in my opinion one of my favorite players in world football uh, Paulo Dybala would be a great signing for Barcelona uh, also there's options of younger strikers I think that we should still look for a young striker not now for a 21 to 23 year old player, but more like an under 20 year old player that's gonna be able to, you know, get into the first team, play the striker role once Griezmann and Suarez are getting up in age. I think that, for example, Alexander Isaac from Real Sociedad, he just joined Real Sociedad. Uh, he's gonna have a contract for the next three years and until 2022. And I think that, you know, biggest start transition in Griezmann out in three years because Griezmann is probably gonna have what a four-year contract and it's probably gonna be good for the next four to five years so having you know Isaac slowly coming into the team as an 18 year old and in the next three years he'll be 21 so it will be perfect for us uh, let him play in the league get it get used to it but I've seen what he did at Willem to this season and it was absolutely world-class I still have to do that that's also that video but I think I'm gonna do it at the end of summer after they finish signing because I think the project that they've doing is looks very interesting to me uh, with all the said and done there's all the strikers like Pietro Pellegri Belotti is still really a really interesting prospect for Barcelona or for any club that's looking for a striker in his moment Casper Dolberg, Timo Werner, Marcus Rashford they're all really top quality strikers but well, I want a Jovic in my opinion Jovic is better than Griezmann for what we need not a better player overall but better for what we need and uh, Real Madrid got him, so uh, we gotta suck it up. We gotta suck it up that we had that I better not see next season Neymar. I definitely better not see Neymar next season. I better not see PK playing every single minute of every single game. Rakitic better be sold. Coutinho more of the same. I mean, if you can sell PK, more of the same. But if not, he better show up 50% of the game next season. And I better see Matis the Ligt at Barcelona because I mean, I swear, if Matis the Ligt. It's going to PSG. I will be making a video about it, and it's gonna be a very bad rant. I'm guessing. Like, I mean, thank God that he's going to PSG and not to Real Madrid. Like, if that would be just absolutely embarrassing. We losing two players that we wanted to Real Madrid. That will be horrendous. Uh, by the way, Real Madrid have completed the signing of Ferdinand Mendy. It's been announced today. He will be, you know, presented to the Bernabeu at the 19th of June. And he's a really good signing. I just don't know why you're signing on a left back. Because if like, if you keep Marcelo and you have Reguilón, for me, in my opinion, that's more than enough for left back. And you have Hakimi also. So, I don't know. With all the said and done, I think Mendy's a fantastic signing. Uh, you know, Griezmann is the opening of our summer. I mean, if you, if you exclude Frankie the Young. You have the likes of Batis Vlick rumored to join. Uh, you have the rumors of a le we're looking for a left back. You know, Felipe Luis, Junior Firpo, Grimaldo. All interesting stuff. I'm going to tell you that we're not going to hear probably anything from Barcelona until July the 1st about any signing. Because, you know, we can get into trouble. And we also, more importantly, the signings. Because, to be honest, I don't think Barcelona need too many signings. They need to get rid of players more than sign a lot of players. In my opinion, like, if you can get Rabiot for the free, fine. If you cannot get him, then don't get him. Uh, if you can get Matisse Lee, great. If you if you cannot get him, then don't don't try for another center back. Unless you can get uh, Milan Skriniar. But if you cannot get Milan Skriniar, then again, don't try for another center back. Uh, for left back, sure. I mean, I would trust Cucurella and if not Miranda. But if you're not going to do that, then get someone really young that has a lot of potential, like Grimaldo, to take over for Jordi Alba in the coming future, and I hope that you can do something like that. Uh, other than that, with Griezmann's sign, I don't think you need anything else. Like, you need more than anything departures. Like, you better get rid of a lot of players this summer. Like, you know, Andre Gomez, Denis Suarez, Arda Turan, Vermeulen Sevilla are because out of the contract. You better sell also Coutinho, Rakitic, we'll see about Titi's knee, I don't really know about it. You know, 
like you need to sell a lot of players this summer uh, you need to give also a lot of players from the first from like the, the from the B team uh, promotion to the first team like Ricky Pooch better play some minutes not a lot of minutes but some minutes next season at least even in the cup of the Ray, play some minutes same thing with Alinha but Alinha should play a lot of minutes too uh, the young should be starting Arthur should be starting Vidal should be playing a lot Busquets I hope he gets back to his best but we'll see it's the beginning of summer uh, we haven't even started to sign anyone really for the summer uh, it'll be an interesting uh, interesting uh, game of, of first we'll see what's gonna happen I'll be on top of all transfers and we all said and done leave me comments in the comment section below do you like Griezmann for Barcelona? Would you like would you have liked us to sign someone else? Leave me your comments in the comment section below. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, Blood Granites.